So first we had uh, a laser that was certainly three or four times the size, very cumbersome, and I would think twice before I used it because it was a whole performance. This one is absolutely fantastic. It's just like picking up a handpiece. For ease of use, it absolutely takes seconds. You, it's, it's like writing on a tooth with a pencil. Um, and I couldn't explain it better than that as far as using the laser. Everything is organized. You just It's programmed for you and you just punch it in and get going. So, and f as far as um, healing and pain afterwards, it's absolutely minimal. In fact, it's very rare that anybody experiences more discomfort than just that following day with a little bit of tissue. Um, it's a little bit sensitive. We just tell them to rinse with some warm salt water or something. So it it really has no side effects. It's great. You can use it for aptus ulcers as well. Just give them a little zap. And uh, I haven't yet ventured to use it for periodontal disease, um, but I'm looking forward to um, to trying it. But as far as crown lengthening and tissue contouring and removal of polyps and those sort of things, absolutely superb. And incidentally, uh, we also had recently did a phrenectomy. Uh, the patient had a very, very short frenum and we just took the, the laser and just cut into it a few times and had a fantastic result. Unfortunately, I always do these things first and then think I should have taken the photographs afterwards, but we had a great result. Yeah. Also, just, you know, another feature of this, in fact, two features. One is that the laser has its own inbuilt battery, so if you want to disconnect it from the power mains and use it in another surgery or just go down to the hygiene surgeon, just do a little bit of tissue contouring, it is really easy. And the other thing is, you don't have the cables all over the place, and that's why now I can actually keep this in the surgery. Because with the other lasers, we had... Uh, to roll them up really carefully, we all have them dangling and they get caught in the drawers and break. This has got an incredible system, I think they call it like a caddy, where you just wind it in and I'll just show you, fantastic, and just as much as you need and you put it back, you just wind it up. So for us it's been brilliant, it is really simple to use and simple to move around. One is often very, very apprehensive about using a laser. I know for the first time and the funny thing was I saw the lasers being used in the United States. There weren't lasers in it. Dentists were certainly not using lasers 10-12 years ago and uh, a dental company imported one in for me at the time because we decided to go that route. There was no backup, there was nobody to teach us. We had to really make our own way using the books at the time. Now there's such fantastic backup, there's so many um, courses one can do, or even just the company that you get it from, uh, will virtually hold your hand with your first few patients. I remember when I got this one, they actually came and watched me using it on the first patients, just to make sure that I was doing absolutely according to the principles and instructions. So it is now so simple. You know, this is a great marketing tool. Patients are very impressed with high-tech dentistry. Today, you can't operate in a practice without intraoral cameras, digital radiography, all those sort of things. And this is taking it to another level. And uh, working with a company who um, sell the Quick White, they have got brilliant marketing material. They've got brochures for patients. They've got education leaflets. They'll help you with uh, getting out your website. So. It is really a complete package when you get this. Um, it's a great deal. I, I think it's fantastic, and I cannot thank them enough. My name is Ashley Watson. I am the principal dentist at the Smile Centre in Canterbury. I learned to be a laser dentist in 2001, and I would say my life hasn't been the same since, and it's for the better. Lasers really are something for the future. If you get in there early, then you'd be uh, better to learn it sooner rather than later. I think they are the ideal cutting instrument for soft tissues. If you haven't used a laser before, if you haven't seen a laser being used before, then you really ought to find a dentist that's got one. If you're interested in improving the profile of your practice, then lasers are ideal. It's a marketing instrument as well as a clinical instrument, but you mustn't expect it to do absolutely everything, including making you a cup of tea in the morning. You've got to buy lasers very specifically for every target 
that you want to treat. The diode laser is, in my opinion, the laser that a dentist is going to want to use if you want something useful in your practice rather than something that's just a marketing tool. So if you're looking at doing soft tissue surgery, gingival troughing, uh, phrenectomies occasionally, you know, the aesthetic stuff around veneers, that's the sort of thing you really want to want to use it for. And if you're used to using an electrosurgery unit, then uh, you're going to be used to using a laser after a week or so. It doesn't take much training. The electrosurgery unit I've been using since I qualified in 92, and I would have to say the laser is a far superior unit. And I'm happy with electrosurgery, but I would be happier with a laser. In the past, lasers were very expensive. They've come down tremendously in price. And you'd be silly not to buy one, even if it's only from the point of view you can put a sign on your window. When I qualified as a laser dentist in Arizona in 2001, I did travel, I travelled out to America to visit dentists in Newark and New York, and I also travelled out to see dentists in Dusseldorf in Germany. And uh, they used all sorts of different types of lasers and different uh, ways, and I decided how I was going to use mine. And I, I decided very early on that it was very much for specific conditions for things like soft tissue surgery. The laser, I don't think you want to get too overly complicated about it. I think it's a very simple piece of equipment. It's a very simple box nowadays. You don't have to buy something that's an enormous great thing on wheels. Um, you can literally just plug it in and switch it on. And that's the beauty of it now. It's a bit like the interval camera. Everybody was a little bit frightened about it when it first came in. But as soon as they started using it, they realised it was really as easy to pick up as the handpiece. The healing, when you cut with a laser, you and it's providing you're doing it properly, you get this beautiful sticky edge to all the tissues that you touch. So you can actually you get a bloodless field, it's very clear, it's very easy to use, but actually the healing is so much quicker. The research has shown that healing from lasers is so much quicker than electrosurge, and there's less scarring than if you're using a scalpel. So it's a really nice technique to use. That's why all the plastic surgeons are using it. In terms of a, a buying decision for your practice, if you're wondering whether or not it's going to make you money, then you're really thinking about it too hard. With the price of lasers as they are today, and certainly with the competitive nature of all the lasers on the market, I really think you should just go out and buy one. There's a lot of things on the market, now there's a lot more money in dentistry, there's a lot more money in dentistry, and a lot more people selling stuff that really is useless. I think, as far as the laser's concerned, go out and spend the money, you won't regret it. Um, if anybody needs any information on how to use it, they're always very welcome to contact me. But I would never dream of doing any veneer cases without picking up the laser first. It's fantastic. Great asset. Uh, to conclude, I just want to talk a little bit about the price. Because, you know, one has to bear in mind that uh, these things are very expensive. And uh, I know my first laser that I bought was something like 16 or 18,000 pounds. And okay, I used it for a few years and I made sure I used it, but it was so bulky uh, that it was just a nuisance. But you know, these, I think this cost me about three and a half, I mean, under 4,000 pounds. And it's made a huge difference because um, the initial cost made it difficult for a lot of dentists to buy, or they'd rather buy it and have a one surgery share it. Here, you got it for like three grand you can use it in every surgery. It's fantastic. I mean, it's now just a little bit more than an intraoral camera, and that one should have one in every surgery anyway. So I think this is fantastic. And certainly, um, there's certain things that make your life easier, and this is one of them.